Let's make some more fun ephemera to fill this junk journal. Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. Welcome back everybody. I am having a go at the Defemerember 23 project and I am trying to plough through this as best I can and I'm having a little look at the prompt list. And I am now up to number seven, clocks and wings and then the one after that would be Halloween meets Christmas. So if you've been following along, you can find all the videos on my playlist for Defemerember 2023. I've made this really fun binder journal just from scraps. This is an old padded envelope, but it's got all the scraps and I've done some quilting techniques here. So if you'd like to see the making of that, do have a look at the video in the playlist. I will leave the link in the description box below. Ephemerema, of course, is hosted by Louise Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies. And I'm gonna have a look at clocks and wings today. And I'm feeling like I want to do some stamping and I've got some scraps that I'm pulling in here. Um, I've got some other scraps here, some rather bright yellow but I quite like that side and I have got these ornament stamps that I want to use. These are silicon stamps and they are readily available and sometimes in the UK certainly we get them for free in magazines and certainly around this time of year they're often giving away things like that on uh, magazines so you can get hold of these sort of things but these ones are ornaments and I'm quite liking this image because in the centre there appears, I don't know if it's showing, well best if I do a stamp and then we can see. I'm going to use black ink for this. I've got an archival black soot ink which is a permanent ink and uh, that is because I want to add some colour over the top of it and I don't want my stamp image to move so I'm going to be using an oil based ink. It doesn't have to be this one, it could be an, just an archival one that stays on. Oh, I can't think of any of the other. You you will know. You've probably got them, but make sure that it is waterproof if you want to do this technique. And it doesn't have to be for this time of year. It could be for any time of year, any image. But uh, I apologise for the glare. I'm trying to do this in the evening, and unfortunately, these are quite glary. So I'll just see if I can get that down. I'm trying to push down firmly. There we go, that's one. I'm just going to put those down like that. Then I can choose which ones I want. So I've crowded them all in there. It doesn't matter because what I want to do is cut them out in the in the in a moment. Um, I'm going to sort of layer up this and see if I can make a belly band out of my scraps. I've got here, I don't know what this is, I think this is straw paper or something. It's a really quite nice feel to it and I've, I've just got some really interesting papers that I want to add. I had a scrap and I was just practicing some sewing on there with this metallic thread and I just decided to do a plaid style crisscross. I was just having a play really and I now want to use this as a textured background. So just putting this down, wanting to see the stitching, wanting to see the rough sort of scruffy bits, a little bit of a layered look there, not going to stick it down too much. In fact, I shall roll that bit up a bit. Um, I'm going to tear that bit there. Okay, so now I've got this sort of scruffy background here. If it's torn and uh, fraying up, that's brilliant. I'm just rolling it up and just allowing it to look aged and worn. I've been playing around with some watercolours recently and I got these from Stacy Illustrations and I found her on Instagram. I'm opening up her advent calendar here and I've just sort of thought that I will um, see what's in... Where is it? Eight. I'm going to see what's in this one, number eight, because uh, we've been we've been opening them up like a mystery, which has been quite fun. And then I've been putting them on there, so I've been keeping the little number, and then I've been adding them onto my colour swatch up the top there. They're really good. They've been made out of 3D printing, just to give the little base. 
and then she stuck a magnet on the bottom. Oh gosh, that's pretty. Oh, that's exactly what we might want for this project. So I've got some pinks here, but that looks really nice. So I'm going to have a little play with these. So what I want these decorations to be is some vintage old luster glass bauble decorations and I've just got my water pen here and I think I'll just start putting on um, a little bit of, let's put it, oh, where's the, what's it? So I'm just going to spray these paints and just uh, let the mica get going and um, start putting some colour down. This paper is quite absorbent so it it should just allow the shimmer to sit on top and I think that's going to be quite nice. So we'll have this one gold. It doesn't matter if I go outside of the lines on this because I shall be fussy cutting them out. So that one's going to be gold. This one I think we want to have, let's have a go at this blue, peacock blue. Oh, that is lovely. They are really nice. Really nice. So she has a website if anybody's interested. I'll leave the link below. So I'm just going to carry on painting these in these lovely shimmery colours. OK, so I've made my decorations. They've been painted and I have cut them out. So they're now looking like that. I've got these four. I did do these ones as well but I don't think I'm going to need them so they'll be used for something else. This is going to be my background which is a complete sort of scrappy background with all the little threads hanging loose and I've also found this so I'm going to put that in there as a interesting backdrop because what I want to do is put my ornaments over the top of it and what we're trying to do is clocks with wings. Well, these are not clocks, but I'm going to see if I can turn them into clocks. And I'm now just getting the wings. So I found a butterfly stamp and I'm hoping that I can just stamp it out onto this scrap of paper, which has got a little bit of shimmer paint on it. And I think that might work. I'm going to just do two okay now I'm going to assemble my pieces here I'm just using stick glue going to put this sheet music on to the scrappy background and then just laying that down there and I think that's quite nice okay now I'm going to have a look at these wings. I think the wings can just come and live here. Just using a strong glue for this and angling them in. I'm not going to do those but what I am going to do is turn the decorations into clocks and how I'm going to do that is I've been sent these vintage clock faces from my friend in China and I've got them and I think that they might have come from old cigar boxes. I'm not sure, I don't know where she got them, but they've been sent to me and they are really, really cool. And I want to see if I can use these. Um, let's see what else we've got. So I've been sent sort of quite a few here. So I'm just going to audition those up and see what looks nice. I can't even tell you what these are so that we could look them up. But if anybody knows, do leave in a comment below that I just think that they may have been some sort of label that came off of a cigar box. That's what I think, but I'm not sure. Um, so I'm just going to see what might look nice, uh, like that one. I'm going to put the clocks on all of my ornaments. The blue there. Oh my goodness, they look brilliant. And here I've got my little clocks with wings and I'm now going to put them down on this belly band idea.
And here they are all stuck down looking really fun with the little wings there. And I'm going to bring it in to match it in with the wings on this page. I'm just adding glue top and bottom there and then I'm putting this down in the centre because I'd like this to become a belly band. Just moving my threads out of the way and then I'm going to stick that down there. Just put a clip there and then I'm just going to hold that down there for a moment and find the paperweight. Just put the paperweight there. And then I have got these. I don't know that I need any more. Um, but I might have I might have this down here. We'll just add that in there as an idea to see what we think later and maybe that one will come and live down there. I actually quite like that. So. And that is another prompt done. And the next one is prompt number 11, Halloween meets Christmas. So I'm going to quickly do that and then we'll add that into the journal. I'm feeling like I'm in a painting mood now after doing this. So I think for the next prompt, I'm going to continue with my paintbrush. And I've also found some of these watercolour paints that I actually picked up in a charity shop some time ago. It was a really, really good find because these are very expensive. Um, they have been open, they have been slightly used by a previous artist or owner and they are now mine. So they're green and they're going to come in and be part of the next prompt. But before I tackle that, I just want to announce the winners of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. And if you watched along with that video and if you left a comment, you will be in with a chance to win one of my three prizes. The prizes were some fun giveaways with the third prize being a scrap pack and some fun supplies, two of which are Tim Holtz and then the second prize is this lovely Yuletide journal booklet which has got some fun ephemera pieces tucked in there for you and also it was some lovely vintage lace like really nice vintage lace and some mother of pearl buttons and some silicon stamps including some butterflies there so you could have a go at making your own set of wings just like I've shown. First prize is this journal complete with some sari silk, a scrap pack and all the pages there for some fun junk journaling on your next getaway. And I'm giving away a nice sheet of silicon stamps there as well. So I found my yellow phone. I've put in the link for the YouTube comments and I am going to get the comments now. So we've got 66 chances of a winning. Start raffle and pick a winner. The first winner is going to be for the third prize. So let's whiz through. Here they go, all the names. Purple Poppy! <laughs> Brilliant! Purple Poppy, you have won a prize here. You have got one of my cards, you've got the scrap pack and you've got the supplies. So you are going to get some Tim Holtz walnut stain it's embossing glaze and this one is an embossing powder by Sweet Dixie. It's a clear powder, really cool, will go with lots of your vintage journaling and then there is crushed olive which is a really really nice colour especially for springtime coming up for that, those journalings and there's tea cards and all sorts of little bits and pieces in there for scrap scrap journaling which I know Purple Poppy will like doing so that is Claire from Purple Poppy and she also has a channel. I'm very pleased that she's won a prize. She's been a huge supporter of the channel right from the very beginning so that is Claire from Purple Poppy and she lives in the UK. She, her comment is I always knew you'd do it. I have loved being part of your journey. Your creativity is infectious. Well done from Kent in the UK. Thank you Claire that's absolutely lovely. I will We'll get that off to you. Okay, so now we need to figure out how we go again. Pick another winner. Here we go. Uh, so the, uh, uh, pick another winner. We are going to press go. Here we go. Terry Watson. British Columbia in Canada. Well done. Congratulations on 10,000 subscribers. I am new to your channel and I have loved it from what I have seen so far. 
And Terry has also written, I love the stories that you create with your journals. Yes, I hear you. I know lots of you love the stories that come with the bigger journals, the bigger concept journals. And I have got one forming in my mind. These journals take quite some time to come out, I guess. It's a big creative project. My last one was last year and I've had such a peculiar year that I haven't been able to really get into that deep dive creativity um, but I there is one brewing definitely I'm very pleased that you've won that Canada so I will send this to you so that is coming your way so that is going to uh, Terry Watson well done Terry Okay, and for the first prize, I'm pressing start and we're going to see who is going to win this really lovely bundle. Uh, good luck, everybody. Here we go, whizzing through. Oh, <laughs> oh, Lydia Joy. I'm so happy that this has come to you, Lydia Joy. I know that you have followed along right from the beginning with all of your fantastic comments. You always enter into the giveaway in the hope that you're going to get something and of course now you have, you've got first prize. So 10k, woohoo! I'm so happy for you. It's crazy. It's been a year since you did the Marion North Journal. Still in awe of what a masterpiece you created with that journal. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. What a lovely thing to say. Um, you said, that's why I love you and this channel. Your talent and creativity are boundless. Continually teaching me slash us new things and inspiring and encouraging to think outside the box. Lots of hugs and love from the Midwest US of A. Good old Indiana. So we've got the UK, we've got Canada, we've got USA. There we go. We can't ask for more. All of those wonderful gifts are going off to you and I'm so excited. I will package these up immediately. So if you ladies could get your addresses over to me at melanie at the treasured page dot com, I will send these to you right away. So thank you, everybody. I will now get back to my next prompt. Without further ado, we'll get back to the prompt today of Christmas meets Halloween. Oh, well, this has been a lot of fun to put together. So I've enjoyed doing that. Just some watercolour paints, flicked it around, and then I've added this fun stamp on the bottom, and that is my Christmas meets Halloween. I'm keeping it really natural, really simple. I'm not even going to decorate the tree, but I could do if I wanted at a later date. And for my bit at the top of the tree, I'm just going to put a gold eyelet in using my crocodile punch. So I'll just line that up. And then we'll add that in there, that's sweet. And then I'll just see if I can find something nice and I'll let the lace do the talking like it's just some sort of nice fairy. I had sort of thought about that, but now I'm thinking vintage lace. That's it. And then just to keep the project flat, I'm going to just put some glue there and stick that to the card behind. Just bring those two pieces up and just pinch them there. I might even put a little clip on that for the moment and then just see if I want anything over here. I'm going to put down this scrap of sheet music here just with some stick glue and I think that sort of for me reminds me of carol singers going to the door at Christmas. Adding time. that in there because we have carol singers at Christmas and we also have to go to the door for trick-or-treating. So there we go that's just a little nod to all of that and I think that that's going to look really nice coming into anybody's journal without it being too over the top, too literal. It's quite pretty quite fun. There to finish that off 
and then that's quite sweet. It's a little bit uh, in keeping with the grungy journal. And I think you could sew on some buttons if you wanted to. You could just put some, you, know, you could put some decorations on there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave that simple. That I think. fulfills the brief in a very basic, simple way. But, you know, I had fun doing that. And that's a little bit of an original artwork piece there. <laughs> and, of course, we've got the stamping, which was a bit of fun to do as well. Okay, so I am going to add in my Christmas tree with the pumpkins and I'm just going to see if that can come and live in my belly band pocket. And yes, it does. And that is super. I think we will be able to have that up there. I'll leave that there for the moment and see how I feel about that. But I am really pleased. I think that's really fun. I think that is Christmas meets Halloween with our clocks and wings and that has all come together in a nice flat page so we've done two in one i really think that's great so i hope you enjoyed seeing that today and i will be back for the next two prompts and we'll be having a look at kintsuki houses which is a japanese technique of putting together pottery together with a gold um like glue when we look at that and magical creature so we'll have a look at that but um there we go so far so good and all coming together i'm really pleased with those pages they're really fun so there we go it's just a call to have a look at what you already have you can use your stamp you may even have a little stamp with a clock on it and a butterfly and you can create something like that if i hadn't have got those ornament stamps i probably would have used flowers maybe tulips maybe teacups that would have been really fun to have them and then just put your clocks on something else so you can put your clock on any object and give it wings it doesn't matter we're just making it up as we go and having some fun so there we go I will leave it there and I will be back very soon with my next video but above everything else just slow down and make crafting time for you bye bye now <laughs>